So this is a gathering of my supplies and what we will do is I'm going to go over these. They are not in necessarily any order that we'd, we would use them in. You will get more information on how they are used as in the next tape as I show you my workspace and exactly how I do the process. But first of all, you are going to need some transferees, which is um, an image transfer medium by Inkade. This is the one that I use because it's the one that I think really wor works really well. Then we're going to need to take 91% alcohol and mix it with the transferees. So if I read the directions here, it is four fluid ounces of 91% alcohol and one tablespoon of transferees. So what I usually do, you can hopefully see that this is a clear liquid right there. This is transferees that was just mixed and you can see it's cloudy. You need to wait at least until it's clear and sometimes um, I just make it in the evening when I'm done and then um, it'll be clear in the morning or I think it might take maybe four hours or so to get clear. So that's what you're going to have to do. Now what I do, and this is not a great habit or whatever, but it's just how I work. I leave my brush, which is a three inch brush, in my transferees until it's empty. I usually only mix about this much. Actually, this is a full cup of alcohol instead of a half cup. So um, that would probably be twice as much as I would mix. You really don't need a lot and for this project you really are only going to need to mix one tablespoon and a half cup of alcohol. So I think you could totally get through it for sure with that. So that takes the transferees too. Now, the other thing you're going to need, let me get these out of here, is you're going to need some transfer film. And the transfer film comes in 8.5 by 11 packs and it also comes in a 24 inch wide roll and I don't, I don't, I think there are other, there are other whisks, larger whisks, but um, I just use it as a 24 inch roll. These inch, uh, 8.5 by 11 is what we're going to work with and actually to make it easy I was going to work with four for the small surface on one small surfaces and then do one of the larger eight and a half by eleven but you can cut these up and do any size you want at any time because it's your practice and it's your project the project I was saying this was going to get bigger like this if you have a wider format printer then you can go to um, a larger size now this can be printed on any home printer it doesn't have to have an art printer so you don't have to worry about that and that's why I love this process because it's so easy for anybody to do when there's one thing that you need to know for sure is when you print if you have any text and letters that you want to have the correct side this transfer film does have a dull side and it has a shiny side the dull shot side is the side that's going to go up through the printer because that's where your ink's going to go so if I put my image correctly so you can read it in the printer that means it's going to print on this side and your letters are going to look like this when you turn them over um, I either mirror my image or I do I flip it horizontally or I guess you could flip it vertically too you can do that in your print box the reason is even if you have something that you like the way it looks and it's a, a landscape of some kind the landscape will be backwards if you don't change that setting in your printer or in your actual image file. So if you have any questions, please always ask questions in the comment box. I will answer questions all the time about any of this. Um, you will also eventually need that larger sheet, the larger surface, and a larger image to go on top of it. And then we are going to, for these videos, we're gonna do four different types of surfaces. And Cheesecloth is going to be one of them, and I'm going to double up the cheesecloth in the video so that you can see how it works on top of itself, and it makes a much better print when you have a little bit more surface 
to put the image on. Otherwise, you're just going to get some lines here. This watercolor paper is really wonderful to print, or actually not print, transfer to. I mix those words up all the time. This is a canvas, and this is a very lightweight fabric. It is, I mean, I'm sorry, it's not a fabric, it's a paper. It's one of those really lightweight rice papers. Now you can buy something like that or you can use regular tissue paper just to do the practices and see what you like. Okay, we're gonna use some kind of a polypropylene sheet. Doesn't have to be this exact kind. This is uh, thin and you can get it thinner and whatever you can find that the surface isn't gonna stick to. I can um, I can give you some of the exact dimensions to the uh, to this as the thickness and that type of thing. These mats like that I have on the table they do not work because the uh, surface the transfer film will stick to it. And you could use actual plastic most likely, but you'd really have to tape it down. And if this moves, it can mess up your fabric or your paper. This, though, is something that's good for setting the um, images on after they have been done the solution and been transferred because they will be wet and you'll need some place to put them. You can use any kind of grocery bags or anything that are plastic, but don't use the sides that have the letters on because the letters, if it's ink on the outside, it can come up on your surface. Okay, I use water and this little washcloth, and I'm going to show you that in the next video. So you just need a water source and a washcloth, and sometimes you could even use pieces of uh, terry cloth towels, anything, even uh, paper towels. Okay, you might need tape, but you'll see what's gonna happen with this stuff as we go along. You will need something to keep your surface clean. I use this Lysol wipes to clean up my surfaces in between. This solution is very sticky and it can only be cleaned up with alcohol. Now I found that little trick that if I use this to clean up my polypropylene sheet and then I just wipe it off with this when it's wet and then I go right to a vinegar and water, this will clean up the plastic the rest of the way and I don't have to worry about washing it with alcohol. So that's something to think about and you don't ever want to put this solution down the drain because it'll clog up your drain. You don't want to do that. And then there are all sorts of little things here. I have a brayer and this wider foam brush helps me press the image into the surface. You'll see that, this too. I use this and I also use this and those are really my favorite tools. So, and I also, you might need a scissors. So I think I've thought about everything and we're gonna go through the entire process and then you'll see how we use all this stuff.